Welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. Okay, so now we have the template label installed. Let's get on and use it. Move that up so it's fully visible. Okay. Oh yes, and now I'll just make it so it'll fit. Otherwise, you won't see everything. That's better. Right, if you remember with the symbol labeler, all we had was some very simple templates with um, a few text fields, or two text fields, one at the top, one at the bottom. When installed, the template labeler comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve templates with images on them, and three others. I'll go through those in a minute, but it's a very simple process to use. You choose a template and then you add some text if it's got a text field. This one has got no editable regions for images, just a text field. So click in there and that opens up the text box and pop some text in. You can once again use any um, of the installed fonts on your system. I have quite a lot as you can see. I'll, leave, I'll go for Arial, no, I want Arial Black, that's a bit too severe. You can bold it, you can italics it, you can underline it, you can do that with it, which I actually sort of fades it out a bit. Okay. Um, again, you can use this, but frankly, there's no point because there really isn't, as far as I can see. But you have the option vertically as well. You can shift it around in the text box. I'll leave them both at centre. Then once you've decided that's all you want, you go preview and print. And again, print dialog box. Um, one thing to point out here, you have the um, preview window, which shows it by default with a gold Lightscribe disk. The other colours you may or may not be aware of, actually there's very limited supply of these now. There used to be more. More of the manufacturers who made them have stopped making them. But you used to be able to get packs with these five colours in. I really only ever use the gold, quite simply because I prefer it. Something to point out, like I did when I was showing you in the control panel, about enhancing the contrast, contrast level here, just to show you the difference. If you put it on normal, it goes down to 23 minutes run, um, burning time. Go down to draft, goes down to 17 minutes, and you can see it's lighter. Quite frankly, it's not worth doing. Make sure it's as dark as possible because the end result is what you're after. Saving five or ten minutes at this stage, it truly isn't worth it. Okay, um, if you hit print now, what will happen is the same thing basically that happened with the simple labeler. Um, my drive, as you can see, is there, it's connected, and it will look to see if I've got any media in there. I haven't, so it'll throw up a dialog box in a minute telling me that. And there we are, it's kicked it out, and it says insert a disk. Now, I don't want to burn this label, so I'm just going to go cancel print. I will point something else out because these things turn up in all the bits of software now. When it says get more templates, here we go again. You go to lightscribe.com and then a gallery where you can get templates. You can't because lightscribe.com is no longer, in fact if I just do this, even that's not there. You used to have a holding page, even that's not there now. So 
it's not there, you can't get more templates. From there, fortunately, I down, excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that, I downloaded all of the templates from lightscribe.com before they shut the site down. Although this may not be the place to explain all this, I will mention it because it is to do with the templates. Lightscribe, or HP rather, closed lightscribe.com for about eight days in February 2013. There was all sorts of fuss by the manufacturers of the hardware and the label and the discs rather, and they reopened it. In July of the same year, 2013, a number of the manufacturers of the hardware and, lay and discs stopped making them. At this point I realised, or I believed, that it was only a matter of time before HP once again closed Lightscribe, which they did, as we now know, in December. Of, the, of 2013. So in the meantime, between July I and December, I downloaded all of the software and all of the um, template packs. I want to work out some way of making these available from my website lightscribesoftware.org and I will announce something to that effect when I can. So at the moment the templates you've got are the ones that are in here. To get round the limitations there are things you can do. But before I show you that let's just show you one of the um, templates with images as well. So you've got your text area which we've already got something in and then you've got these three image areas. Basically click on one, drop an image in there, it'll appear there. Ditto. Now you can do that with for example photo frame, this is a nice one obviously, it can be for husband and wife, two kids, you know, whatever you like. It's a love thing, so maybe it's a husband and wife, more than two kids, oh, whatever you choose. But um, I want to show you something else. Now, if you go around down to the last three, you've got basically text fields all the way around. So you can, in effect, if you you can put as much text in here as basically to fill the circle up and a picture in each of the quarters. Okay, And if I go to the last one it works the same way but like that. The middle one's more interesting. You once again have a text field there and a text field there. Oh, one thing I will show you, when you've got two text fields, if you put some text in but don't put text in the other one and then you go to preview and print it, it doesn't come out saying click to add text. There you are. It just does that. So you get the text field there but not the one you haven't added anything to. Now something I want to show you. Um, I'm going to choose I just want um, to I don't want to make a big thing of this, I just want a plain piece of text. Arial, will do. Bold. Now, to show you how this one particularly works, I will show you it with my design I use for my own Lightscribe toolbox software. Let's get rid of that because that's sticking out next to me. The draw for the CD writer. Um, so if I put um, that there, 
there, and then click to not there, sorry, click to add the picture, and then drag an image. Okay, and this will again, if I click on that, I can just show you. Uh, that's fine. In fact, this is a good example if it will move. And me pushing it further up. There we are, slightly better. And again, you can see this, which looks like it's going to go straight across the pictures, but it doesn't. Okay. That's not exactly how my label is. That is the background image, but I use a different program. The program you actually get with the Lightscribe toolbox, which allows me to put multiple fields of texting, and I use two text fields. But there you can see how you can use your own image, your own template if you make it up. But bear in mind, you've only got these two editable fields of text. So don't, if you want to use them, cover the entire disk. With your images is a little right over the top. So cancel that. And that's basically it. Simple program to use and it does the job. It's simple as that. Problem you've got these days with 8.1, Windows 8.1, and if you're working with a Mac, you've never had the template labeler to use. You are limited to the simple labeler if you want to use free software. Like I said in the other video, there is a workaround for that, very similar to the workaround using your own background image, but you can't add it into the front end of the program. You have to put it in the back end. In another video, I'll show you how to do that. Well, this video is a little bit longer than I intended. Um, I hope it's been instructive. For those of you who've used the program before, you'll know all this. But for the people, and there are still a lot of people coming on to Lightscribe who've never seen it, never used it, and I hope it's been helpful to you if you're one of those. So thanks very much for watching, and um, videos that follow this are a little bit more in-depth and take Lightscribe, as they say, to the next level. Thanks very much. Bye for now.